yeah welcome back welcome back guys uh based on this video you know based on this video as you know what i always do always teaching you something about phonics always teaching you something that's gonna help you to open your eyes you know to see what exactly the market is doing even if you are on a naked chart like this you know so I wouldn't want you guys to see this video that I'm making now, like I'm giving you market analysis, you know, I don't like those type of videos too, you know, I like to make videos that people will always like to come back and watch over and over again. But, you know, while making those type of videos, you know, some might be like analysis. Mm -hmm. Now, this being on the AUD, USD, AU, H1 time frame, you know, We've been watching this thing for like going to go up, okay? And I'm going to present this like I'm helping you to set up a chart on, so you can understand how to look at a chart. Okay, this is what we believe then is going to go up then. You know what I mean? Forget about what it has done. It has gone up from here, got here, and then broke down to give us what? To give us a little pullback okay so after this major pullback what am i thinking with these double legs what am i thinking now okay the only thing in my head now is you know um i'm gonna i'm gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna wait a little bit to see what is going on around this red line that i've drawn that's what i'm doing right now but to confirm this properly, let us go and put our support resistance line of um, uh, 500 period the way we used to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, with all the alerts on, man. All right. Yeah, you see, because I wanted to ask you a question before, like, why do you think it bounced back here? now look at the support resistance i used to say because it has hitting that resistance that is why it bounced back but if you put if you look at it the way it's going it's going up okay it's going is blowing up blowing up there's no doubt about it but then what it has gone on the straight leg to give you the uh support resistance it gave you the pullback of maybe 50 to 60 percent pullback what do you want to do wait for the buy entry okay now if i buy this now because my brain is a buy look at this line it is even already a take profit one this line is already a take profit one and this final line is already the final take profit this final up okay now this is not what we want to do let's zoom it a little bit okay now let us go and put our income arrow to make it spicy you know where is it hmm. income arrow you see the way i'm putting things fast fast sharp sharp i should see you I've been, I'm, I'm doing exactly what i'm saying and i want this income arrow to have a lot and have everything but because of time i'm gonna rush this video now look at your income arrow while this was going up i said okay you should be following 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 these lines following this arrow following this arrow because it's going up now it hit the resistance if you are a professional trader you will know that while hitting this resistance it's definitely going to go back then you will be following the yellow arrow okay yellow arrow okay but that is not what i'm saying right now i'm saying that these have gone from the low support to the high ceiling resistance it has hit in it it has dropped to 50 to 60 percent retracement and this is going back up so we have to wait we have to wait for the entry i'm gonna call the entry on this for this week okay from this week to next week we're following this and i'm gonna be calling the entry for you guys so you guys should wait the way i'm looking at it i'm looking at what is going to happen with this red line and this is already tick p1 and this is already the final tp okay but i'm looking what is going to happen around this red line. 
yeah so welcome back man so like i said before you know uh i don't want you guys to see this type of videos that are making like you know <laughs> like uh, giving you analysis of the market okay if you see it like analysis of the market you know maybe you're just gonna watch it for only that day and that's all you understand but see it as if i'm showing you how to analyze the market even if it has to take you to come back over and over again to watch what is going on okay now look i've made a channel this will be going up right on this channel okay if you look at where my trend lines are even pointing you will know that this 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 thing is going up okay but i said it started from here bounce here but why why did it bounce back it bounced back because it hit the ceiling resistance man top it bounced back now what happened giving you a 60 percent retracement yes a 60 percent retracement now it's about to go up so what should you be doing now when it's about to when things like this is happening you see this long leg that happened before hitting the ceiling and breaking down this long this long leg that hit the ceiling and broke down okay let me do one line we are going to make this chart to look horrible so please try to this what i said come and watch this over and over again because <laughs> this chart is going to look horrible at the end of this video now we know this line is going up we've seen this one that drop giving us giving us 60 percent retracement okay great then it's going to travel right on this white one here this down one so what should you be doing if you have followed the arrow here while it was going up on these long legs following this arrow on these long legs following this on the long leg okay you see that is exactly what is going to happen here now you will see those arrow again which will follow on this long leg this one now is going to be your long leg this white one and from what is going on from what is going on from whatever is going on it's going to break the top it's going to break this high and it's going to go you know this is where the daily breakout is going to happen it's going to break this high and it's going to go okay it's going to break it's going to break this high this how to analyze the market man it's going to break this high okay it's going to break this high and it's going to go let's say it's going to break this resistance is gonna go we can talk about 200 pips moves from this from this junction we talk about 200 pips move traveling on this white line which i drew here okay traveling on this white line which i drew here you know the first thing is try to know where the market is going exactly you know this is what i've always been talking about you know if you don't know where the market is going you you will never know where to position your own mindset what is going to be happening inside your mind how will you be able to follow the market you know you cannot follow what you don't know where it's is it going you know what i mean if you don't know where something is going you cannot follow it you understand most of the failure that i've gotten on forex is because i don't know where the market is going but when i got my success is because i discover one thing about where the market is going and i continue to do the same thing over and over again every day until i became a master of what i do you know so this is why i'm opening your eyes because i know majority of you are beginners okay a lot of people have seen with their chat looking uh, looking like drastic nasty colorful fashionable design with some big tool you don't need a big tool to trade forex all you need is where is the market going and do you have one arrow that is telling you to 
So the other day when I told you guys about um, the, you know, setting up your chart and the Forex trendy issue, you know, one thing about your chart is that it is the only thing that will determine if you're going to be successful in Forex or not, you know. So now I'm going to set up a chart right now so you can see in the post that I made for you guys. I want you to now see the chart the way I'm going to display it. And I put about the support resistance tool, support resistance. There's a reason why it is there. I'm going to add the support resistance. I told you in the post, I put 500 level support resistance. This is the point where the price always turn around and the support resistance you're looking at a lot because you see the price turn around the price bounce on it and it's turning around and this going up you know good now if you are a day trader you can follow it to wherever it's going and if not you can take your entry here if you're a scalper you can get out from here okay but that is not what we're doing here today now look let us go get that arrow the arrow that i put that i call the income arrow go to custom the income arrow that i put and this arrow also has a lot you know i always set mine to be like 10 it's crossing 50 because it will give me the best uh signal and then all the other settings i leave them alone and i do things like uh, show ma lines no a lot is on yes make sure your alert is on because if not you cannot get signal a lot on current i pull the false false a lot message yes a lot sound yes a lot message is the one that will send the alert to your phone your phone and you can use your phone to enter the trade okay a lot email well, this one too, if I like, I turn it on. But now let's go and see exactly how it looks like. This is it. These are the arrows. Okay. As a trader, when you know that, the logic here is that the price has bounced on this support and now it's bouncing up. So you know it's going up. That is the thing at the mind, at your at the back of your mind right now. It is going up. It has bounced here on the support okay on the floor now it's going up okay now this is the reason why i help you to set the chart so that you can see it okay because when you have a chart that is showing you what exactly is going on in the market then you will have confidence to to be sure of monthly income from your trading look what are you supposed to be doing if not to follow the arrow the buy arrow the buy arrow only you follow the buy arrow okay if you are the one that always draw trend line when you draw trend line and you know that your trade ends until the day this trend line is broken now look at the chart hmm? tell me that there's something good you found on this chart while the price bounced on this zone the roof which is the resistance it started coming down where you follow this yellow arrow for down 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 if you draw a trend line following this arrow you will see that okay until the day my trend line broken that is when i come to buy see are you not buying you are buying okay now this trend line drawing is uh, a strategy for another day you know it's not i'm not teaching you how to trade forex but i'm teaching you how to set up your chart and the reason why you need to have a, a very clean chart now this is the support resistance line that i told you it is the two blue lines and these are the arrow okay if you look at the price they are so cheap i believe anybody can afford it i i probably made it cheap because of you guys because i know that yeah most of you cannot afford much expensive things this is why i'm showing you this so i don't think you should hesitate not to even get it in order to be profitable hmm? if you get something that solves your problem and is going to make you to be profitable why not why not why not invest in it why not get it
yeah so we made a video the other day and now we started again with another video right here to continue what we just talked about a few days ago about this support resistance which we have the blue line like i told you guys and then we have our arrow if you don't forget yeah we do this is it the arrow will follow and we don't just follow things blindly you know what i mean we look at where the market has bounced away from the support it bounced up started going now yesterday while i was doing this video we took a buy following this arrow right here but the market went up and pulled back now a lot of you new beginner trader will be scared of pullback you know you're gonna be scared of pullback and that has been the problem in the forex which makes a lot of you losing because when you see a pullback you don't want to care if you're in the right direction i've seen a lot of people they will close that order man they feel it's gone against them the reason is because you don't know where the market is going by yourself you know look a simple analysis the market has bounced away from support it shows you it's going up this is why we drew a trend line apart from the support resistance which is the boundary where we are trading okay now we know it's going up this is why we follow it up yesterday now because i got the information is going up if i'm gonna take my profit now as a scalper you know what i can take my profit somewhere right here if i say i want to take my profit i can take my profit profit number one right here okay i can do that if i'm gonna think of the long term maybe you know to hold it for at least a week yeah maybe a week or a week and a half yeah i can come here and take my profit number two right here why because i know this price is going around here around here is going to create the next resistance but i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about is i know where it's going i know where it's going and i'm going to get out here i'm going to get out here for longer time now if i'm going to talk about the pullback which is the level that the price will always create to give you another good entry so that zone is what me i'm going to use to pull my stop loss levels pullback stop loss see you know why i can do this thing i'm showing you because i know what the market used to do well you know what the market used to do you will not be scared of pullback but you will take advantage of the pullback now if this is the level it has created as the last pullback okay if i'm gonna take this trade today then my stop loss is gonna be exactly um exactly below the pullback itself boom oh what type of risk reward ratio is this if i have a stop loss here my entry here which i put this on yesterday and which my my take profit is here or here when you calculate it it looks like a risk reward ratio of two to one which is very profitable so what am i saying if you know how to follow one strategy and you know one strategy and there's a pattern which you need to see in the market and you follow it with a risk reward ratio of two to one mm? and you follow that every day man your success is guaranteed this is why we got the support resistance level and this video is called how to follow support resistance using the income arrow okay i will put all the link of what you need under this video like the support resistance and the this income arrow i will put the link under the video you need to check it out because these are the things that will guide you you know there's